Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we dive into today's message, I'd like to ask for your help in strengthening our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button right now. Your participation is essential in spreading God's word. Also, if this message touches your heart, don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's move on to our meditation for today. Our theme is Experiencing God's Faithfulness, based on Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 23, which tells us, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This passage reminds us of God's constant and unwavering faithfulness, even in the midst of the most challenging circumstances. It's fascinating to note that these words of hope and trust come from the Book of Lamentations, a text filled with pain and suffering. The prophet Jeremiah, traditionally considered the author, was witnessing the destruction of Jerusalem and the exile of God's people. In the midst of this devastation, he was still able to glimpse God's faithfulness. This teaches us a valuable lesson. Divine faithfulness doesn't depend on our circumstances, but on the unchanging character of the Lord. But what does it really mean to experience God's faithfulness? It's not just about intellectually recognizing that God is faithful, but about experiencing this faithfulness in our daily lives, especially in times of trial. It's trusting that, as the psalmist says in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God's faithfulness manifests itself in various ways in our lives. First, it reveals itself in His constant presence. God promises in Hebrews 13, 5, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. This faithful presence sustains us in moments of loneliness, despair, or uncertainty. We may not feel His presence emotionally, but we can trust that He is with us, fulfilling His promise. Another manifestation of divine faithfulness is His inexhaustible forgiveness. 1 John 1, 9 assures us, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. No matter how many times we fail or how serious our sin is, God's faithfulness in His forgiveness remains constant. This is not a license to sin, but an invitation to always return repentant to the loving arms of the Father. God's provision is also an expression of His faithfulness. In Philippians 4.19, Paul declares, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. This doesn't mean we'll have everything we want, but that God, in His faithfulness, will give us everything we need to fulfill His purpose in our lives. God's faithfulness is also manifested in His guidance. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Even when the path ahead seems uncertain or scary, we can trust that the faithful God will guide us. It's important to understand that experiencing God's faithfulness doesn't mean our life will be free from problems or suffering. Jesus himself warned us in John chapter 16, verse 33. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. God's faithfulness doesn't exempt us from life's difficulties, but sustains us through them. Indeed, it's often in trials that we experience God's faithfulness most deeply. James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 tells us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Difficulties, seen through the lens of faith, become opportunities to witness God's faithfulness and grow in our trust in Him. A practical way to experience God's faithfulness is through gratitude. When we cultivate a grateful heart, 
our eyes open to the countless ways God has been faithful. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15 instructs us, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Gratitude helps us maintain the right perspective and recognize God's faithful hand in our lives. Another way to experience God's faithfulness is through meditation on His Word. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 encourages us, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. When we immerse ourselves in the scriptures, we are constantly reminded of God's faithfulness throughout history and His promises to us. Prayer is also a powerful means of experiencing divine faithfulness. In Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, God invites us, Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. When we bring our needs, fears, and dreams to God in prayer, we create opportunities to witness His faithfulness in action. It's crucial to remember that God's faithfulness doesn't depend on our faithfulness to Him. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 13 assures us, If we are faithless, He remains faithful, for He cannot disown Himself. This is not a license for unfaithfulness, but a reminder of God's unmerited grace. Our response to this unwavering faithfulness should be a renewed commitment to live in obedience and gratitude. God's faithfulness is also manifested in His loving discipline. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 5 to 6 remind us, My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline, and do not lose heart when He rebukes you, because the Lord disciplines the one He loves, and He chastens everyone He accepts as His son. God's discipline though sometimes painful, is an expression of His faithfulness in shaping us into the image of Christ. Experiencing God's faithfulness also means trusting in His promises, even when circumstances seem to contradict them. Abraham is a powerful example of this. Romans chapter 4 verses 20 to 21 say, Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. We can follow Abraham's example, trusting in God's promises, even when they seem impossible. God's faithfulness extends even to our eternal salvation. In John chapter 10, verses 28 to 29, Jesus promises, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. This is the ultimate expression of God's faithfulness, His determination to bring us safely to the end. As we experience God's faithfulness in our lives, we are called to reflect this faithfulness in our relationships with others. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2, Paul reminds us, now it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. Our faithfulness in small things, in our marriages, friendships, work and ministry, is an appropriate response to the great faithfulness God has shown us. It's important to recognize that sometimes it can be difficult to see God's faithfulness, especially in times of crisis or prolonged suffering. In these moments, we can identify with the psalmist who cried out in Psalm 13 verse 1, how long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? However, even in these moments of darkness, we can cling to the truth that God is faithful, even when we don't understand His ways. The faith community plays a vital role in helping us experience God's faithfulness. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 to 25 exhorts us, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. When we share our burdens and testimonies of God's faithfulness with each other, we are strengthened and encouraged in our faith. As we conclude our reflection on experiencing God's faithfulness, remember that this is an ongoing journey of discovery and growth. 
Each new day brings fresh opportunities to witness and trust in divine faithfulness. As the verse in Lamentations reminds us, God's mercies are new every morning. May we, as individuals and as a community of faith, open our eyes and hearts to recognize and experience God's faithfulness in all areas of our lives. May our own lives become living testimonies of the Lord's unwavering faithfulness, inspiring others to trust Him in all circumstances. Before we close, I'd like to remind you again of the importance of engaging with our channel. If this message touched your heart, please leave a like and share your reflections in the comments. Your participation not only encourages us, but also helps spread this message to more people who may need to hear it. And if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to receive more inspiring content like this. May God abundantly bless each one of you, revealing His faithfulness in new and profound ways in your lives. Until the next video.